I mean, we gotta start at the yeah, promised land. The two people that haven't, I don't think, been on the channel in a while. I haven't, at least. I, I think, yeah, we, we did some wagon stuff. Ethan's been dormant. He's been in Florida, but now he's back. We are en route to Connecticut to go visit some of our good friends. I'm personally going to go do some stuff for my man, Grant. So he's also gonna be bringing some stuff for Grant from the boys at the shop and cook them some stuff up quick. Yeah, last minute trips. What was it, yesterday? We just, I decided I was coming. <laughs> Literally last night, I said, yeah, I'll pack a bag, I'll go. And now, promised land. What a great view. We're not there yet, we're stopped. Me and Mike are just enjoying the sick view. Can we move to Connecticut, Mike? Oh, that was a picture. I'm an old man. <laughs> Grant, we made it, dude. So we got to Grant's like two hours ago, probably now. And we kind of just been settling in, unpacking. Mike's making himself at home with all his welding gear. We played with the bandsaws, trying to set them up a little better. And yeah, showed Grant the new arms, went over them. We're gonna do that again tomorrow for a video, but yeah, just hanging out, teaching Grant how to weld a bit, and you'll see clips of that. We're trying out Grant's setup, just to give us a starting point and see where we're at. Wow, what the f Mike? <laughs> you pull the filler way back and then dip in, you and way back and then it dip in. Melts. And what happens is, that, like, you want to tip like that when you pull it out. Okay. Because what happens with the aluminum, if it's too close, it pre melts It'll just before it melt goes in, before it goes and in. now it gets dirty, like instantly, uh, and now grainy shit just goes in. You just, like, yeah, it's a fucking little motion of the ocean. Motion of the ocean. Mike already out here out. What? What are you doing? Getting sketchy, Grant's job. We just got back to Grant's house. We went for breakfast, and I had to go pick up some welding materials and everything. Mike's over there welding up and working on intercooling piping and everything. Pretty much just hanging out doing emails and stuff right now, getting some of my work done since I'm away from the office. And then once the car's in the air and Mike's doing all the underneath exhaust work and welding and everything, Grant and I are gonna go ahead, go over the rear arms and actually start installing and you'll see all that. How'd it turn out? Pretty damn good, man. Just getting the turbo back on so we can start with the uh, intercooler piping. No sleep for the week, baby. And then where are you off to tomorrow, Grant? Be here tomorrow and then going to Laguna Seca to race rush cars on Thursday. Never ending, dude. But by the time I leave, this car will be 100% done minus getting tuned by Jimmy. So as soon as I get home, the car will be tuned and then I can drive it, which is so sick. Shout out my Canadian boys. The vibrant goodies over here. It's, good, it's a right? tubes day. A tubes day. Yeah. So that's Man, looking. That looks we so have, good. We have solid clamping around the bead roll there. We have full engagement of this pipe to like here. So we have tons of grip for that. We're all around the clamps. Like you know, it's it's this can all be moved yeah, down we'll a little bit, but it down, doesn't yeah. even need to be. No, like it's no, not it's touching good. anything right now. So I cut another four. The first thing I did is I took a, the longer leg off of it and then I put it back. And I held this in here and then I instantly noticed it was too short. So I was like, okay, that's not gonna work. Yeah. So then I went back and I cut about pretty much generally almost all old less, legs off. A little less yeah. than the other side. Yeah. I didn't get too technical. And now this is sneaking in there. And if you come over on this side, you can see, cause this side's gonna be a little sneaky. But that's fine. I like the two. sneaky part. Yeah. And with oh, Ben's, it's it sneaky so with purpose. Freaking and then look at where it shoots you. Uh, still working on the engine bay part, uh, pretty much FDF stuff we've been looking over, got a game plan, so that's gonna happen tonight after we go to Jimmy's or tomorrow, worst case, not a rush. Yeah, we're gonna go see the boy Spoon, steal some of his tools, cause I forgot mine, so big shout out to Spoon Good excuse and the boys. Too. Get out of the garage yeah. for a little bit, go see the boys. Tacos. Tubes. Get some tacos. Get Taco some Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's almost like I planned it. Everything's <laughs> coming together. Area. We made it to Jimmy, and we're here with our boy Spoon. What's up? Big FDF guy. Big FDF guy. So it was on the dyno last night. Fresh off the dyno yesterday, 461 on 16 pounds. Was chilling for a K-Series. It sounded sick on the dyno. 
this will yours will go live before this. FDF front? Yeah, full FDF front, full FDF rears. Dude, it's so clean. K20 turbo, stock K20, turbo smart 5862. Yeah, simple works for a drift car. And without an alignment, this thing feels so planted already. He killed on this. I keep saying it, but like first drift build, that is. You took your time and made it right. You got an idea for the livery and everything yet, or what? No, no livery yet. It's getting wrapped. I feel liveries need to be earned. What color? No, uh -huh. let's not let's not say that yet. That, I haven't heard it yet, but here I'm gonna pause this. I want to know what color. <laughs> I like that. I was just talking to Spoon off camera, but what color he's wrapping it? Not gonna say, but I am so proud of him for this thing. I've been talking to him the whole time and like watching the progress on this. So sick to see it actually running and together. So pumped for him. This thing rips, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Grant, we got Taco Tuesday. Uh, like we said, went to Jimmy's, bead rolled some pipes. Guess all the homies, it was nice. Got some footage of Spoon's car, talked about it, saw him. And yeah, now we're gonna eat. And what are we doing after we eat? Tube and back to tubes. Well, Mike's still button that thing up. We're about to, as of like next week, when you this video is live, they might be live as well, release eccentric lockouts for front and rear JZX. At this time, I don't have them here with me, unfortunately. So the best thing for us to do to keep Grant's alignment like where it is and not have to mess around with it too much is where the lockouts now are, we can use a paint marker, mark them, so they go in the same spot when we put them back on and measure out these arms and preset the other rear arms. So they just bolt on and everything's good. Right, Grant? Right, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and I'll get back to you guys when that's done. I got everything paint marked up there for the lockouts. Now Grant's got it juiced up power. and ready to take the sway bar off. So we're gonna start with the lower. God, I love my life sometimes. Isn't it beautiful when a sway bar bolt just doesn't, it just comes right off and doesn't spin around for freaking 30 minutes? Let me tell you something. This ain't Canada, that's for sure. Let me tell you something, buddy. I don't, you're right, this is not Canada. <laughs> this right here is our rear lower control arm we're going to be installing. Sway bar mount, double adjustable, super simple install. Anybody in there? Hello. So with that arm out, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be measuring the factory width and then setting the adjuster and everything roughly in the same measurements. Gotta go out with it. Super simple. Those are loose. Spin it. And it's equally lengthening both, so you have the same amount of thread engagement in both sides. That should be perfect right there. I'm ready to go already? Yeah, we got it. Oh, let's go, bud! So, we just got the new lower installed here. Sway bar attached. Grant's already working on the toe arm. Anxious to get this done. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Actually goes right through the hind, so there's no space or needed. Okay. And then that gives it the most like. Okay. So should I tighten this one first because uh, it's pulling it in? Yeah. yeah. We got the rear arms all in so far. We have the lower sway bars back attached, and then here we have the rear toe arm. Again, on car adjustable. Just loosen the jam nut, spin that, and you can adjust it however you'd like. The stud, good clearance, everything there. Back with factory mounting. Again, coming out with lockout plates, so that would be a good purchase when you do buy the rear arms. 
I noticed doing it doing this bolt first is a lot easier than doing that one and then trying to line up this one because this moves a lot and the subframe doesn't move a lot. And then this should just bing bang slide in. See, told you. All right. Looks we good from down here, dude. Like 20 minutes. I know. So sick. And then just wait till we do all the uppers. Yo, we'll do an upper. These all look so damn good, dude. I love it. Let me get some nice uh, end links now. Do the subframe. I can hook you up with a set of those adjustable ones. Do you guys make end links? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be sick. Great, not even waiting for me, just already at it. Dude, sleep for the week, baby. Ethan been sleeping till noon every day while he's been here. Whoa, 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 kidding, whoa, no, whoa. Kidding, no, okay, so we're gonna do the camber arm and the toe arm, and uh, we should be done. We did the front traction arm already and went quick. I just remembered we have to do the high clearance tension rods for the front. Shouldn't take too long though, car's up in the air. Everything's accessible. I just had all the hardware apart, so should be good to go. Arigato gozaimasu. Look at that, man. All bolt checked, torqued, we good to go. Dude, that's great. It's all torqued down. Again, when you have things like this, like that are high in joints, you're going from, where's an old arm here? You're going from rubber bushings and everything that are OEM, and there's no lock nuts, nothing. So the only thing you ever really need to bolt check is the bolts in the frame and at the knuckle. But with these, you are switching out to more solid himes. So there are no rubber bushings other than the ones that are already up in the knuckles here. That being said, please bolt check. Stuff does rattle loose if you're not torquing it down properly and stuff like that. Every event, before events, and even sometimes during events, depending on how new this stuff is and they paint marker it and everything, which I know once Grant sets up his alignment, he's gonna paint marker everything. Big paint marker Big guy. Big maintenance guy. Even all up here. Just the bumper. Just cause the flex. Usually I do add like a yeah. like an S chassis style, like off yeah. of the trans brace, just to hold it more solid, but we can address that when we down the road. Okay, I just looked back on the timestamp of that and it was literally two and a half minutes to take the whole brace off, lower control arms, everything. 153 he started and by 156, it was all apart. So now just looking at the new arm, Mike's explaining them because he has them on his JZX. Don't know if you've seen that in a video or not. So this is a Reduce, custom, reuse, recycle. This is a custom made in Canada stud. Okay. Dilly bar. On. So that stud slips on there. Yep. And then, hold on. Yep. Smart man. Let's get it started. Get a little pressure on it. Okay. So grab those gold bolts. Exactly. Just like downtown. You guys are quick with it. Oh yeah, sorry. So yeah, okay. you do reuse only factory bolts are the back of the brace. I'm gonna join Josiah's Driftmaster. Driftmaster's team next year. I'm so fast with it. Don't tempt him with a good time. They look good. Yeah. They look crazy on off the car, but on the car they just flow and they look, yeah, they look like, like they belong you actually there. You had an angle kit? Like you have, you have so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying though, right? Like off the car, they look like these big girthy things. things. Yeah, but yeah. then they're on the car and they, they look like they belong. Smooth. All right, we just got the whole FDF rear arm kit installed in the car. Super easy to put in. Love the factory sway bar mounting. Freaking perfect. Absolutely perfect, not a single issue with them. And then we also got the front that we just did in what, 12 minutes it 12 ended up minutes, being? Yeah, we did the high clearance tension rods in the front. Nice, plenty of room for the angle kit I don't have, but hopefully potentially we'll get in the future. But gets rid of all the weird wonky OEM hardware and uses nice everyday nuts and bolts that you can get anywhere. The car moved engine bays and went down the driveway. When was the last time you drove this thing? Um, so I won't lie, I backed it out of the garage right when we got it running, but I, that's it. Just backed it out, pulled it back in.
but I haven't driven it since, I bet it's been almost two years since I drove the car. Tubing turned out sick, Mike. Dude, it looks awesome. I still think brushed intake is gonna bring the whole room together, yeah. but yeah. He, can, he can marinate on that. Yeah, that's correct. Match this with everything else that Mike did? Yeah. Great. Did? Yeah, Grant. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's Grant, a, that's Grant did. Oh wait, yeah, this is Grant's side. Sorry. Sorry, sorry.